All right, guys, welcome to Komodo Internet Security version 6.2 or 2013, whichever way you want to look at it. So this is going to be a three-part series as usual. We have the first part, which will be looking at the user interface and how appealing it is. So getting started, the main user interface looks very nice. It's very simple for users that are maybe not so tech savvy. Komodo also does have an option up here where you can have an advanced view. I much prefer the advanced view. Also down here at the bottom you have nice big buttons for your common tasks. You can also remove these tasks from the taskbar down here and adjust them to your liking, which is very nice. You have different categories right here. It's all nicely broken down. Your antivirus, auto sandbox, and firewall category. You can also adjust the antivirus, auto sandbox, and firewall categories from the main interface, which is really nice. It also comes with the HIPS engine too. If you click on the Tasks button over here, you'll notice it'll swing around, and we'll start up at General Tasks here. You get your scan, update, quarantine, logs, connections, all your general tasks in one little area. If you click on the firewall task, tasks, then you'll get you can allow applications, block applications and manage networks and also open advanced settings for the firewall specifically. Sandbox tasks you can run a virtual kiosk now this is very interesting because that the virtual kiosk basically is a fully virtualized environment in which you can do anything you want you can run any program you want and it's isolated from your actual system so let's say you run a piece of malware in there and you, inf you infect your computer well, in reality, you haven't, because if you just close out the virtual kiosk and go down to where it says Reset Sandbox, this will reset all the data in the sandbox and clean it out. It literally erases everything within there, and your system will be clean once again. So that's a very nice feature that Komodo has. And then at the advanced tasks, you can create a rescue disk if your computer were to be, un be unbootable, um, which if you're running Komodo, it would most likely never become unbootable because of Komodo's Auto Sandbox. This is more for if you're installing Komodo on a computer that the existing legacy antivirus product has failed. You can then use a clean computer, install CIS on there, or Komodo Internet Security I should say, and then run the rescue disk wizard to create your rescue disk. Cleaning Essentials is basically the same thing just without the rescue disk. You can install Komodo on any computer and run a Cleaning Essentials. Watch activity is basically just, the best way to describe it is task manager on steroids. It gives you a whole bunch of information that task manager doesn't about all the processes running on your computer. If we open the advanced settings window, we will notice that, well, once it opens up here, there we go. It's on a virtual PC, guys. Sorry, it's kind of slow. Um, it's very nicely put together. You got your tabs on the side here with all your options for user interface, updates, logging, configurations, the security settings. You can go to real time scanning settings right here. And then we got scan settings. You can create custom scans to scan specific areas of the system, or you can edit existing scans. Your exclusions tab, so you can exclude certain files or folders from being scanned. Then Defense Plus, this is where all the magic happens in Komodo. If we click on Behavior Blocker here, you'll notice where it says Auto Sandbox Unknown Applications. Komodo sandboxes any application that is unknown to its trusted vendors list. So what, the way they do things is they have known good files, known bad files, which the antivirus takes care of, and then unknown files. Now typical antivirus programs just let these unknown files run rampant on your computer. If it says, okay, I don't know you're bad, so I'm just going to let you run. That, that's basically what it does on your computer. And if you run a piece of ransomware, let's say, and it, that legacy antivirus product doesn't have a signature for it, you're going to be in a world of hurt because your computer is going to be kind of unbootable and possibly lose data due to encryption. So that's where this comes in handy. However, I think partially limited is a little too lax on the security of the sandbox because I know in the past uh, reading on the forums people have said that some I believe some key loggers can actually get past the partially limited um, virtualization of the sandbox 
but limited fixes that. So I really think that they should make the default limited, but you can still keep partially limited for people who are necessarily don't need that much security and like to install programs and you don't want them to have problems. I just think that they should up the default to limited. Um, I personally keep mine at untrusted on some of my computers. In other computers, I also run fully virtualized, which means any application that is unknown will be automatically sandboxed and fully virtualized, where you can use that reset or erase changes button, I should say, and it'll reset the entire sandbox, and any infections will be gone, and any changes those infections made will also be gone. So, moving on, um, we got a HIPS engine right here. HIPS are disabled by default, reason being is the sandbox takes care of everything on the system. Um, the only thing about this is if you don't have HIPS enabled and you use kill switch to try and block a process from ever starting up again, it won't work. You have to have HIPS enabled to do that. I really wish they would make a workaround so that you don't have to have HIPS enabled to do that. Um, maybe that's in the future they'll do something like that though. Moving on to the sandbox task right here. You can add manually programs to sandbox or you can manually add programs to the sandbox to keep an eye on them and also you can adjust the restriction level manually and the amount of memory they can consume in other settings. The firewall tab here gives you a list of firewall settings and once again here is the VPN service that Komodo offers. You can edit trusted app or you can edit application rules, global rules, rule sets, network zones and port sets. So this is a very advanced firewall and Komodo has one of the best firewalls out there uh, from what I've read online. And then they also have introduced the file rating system which has um, cloud antivirus or looks up basically files and their reputation inside the cloud and helps determine whether to um, how to control those files. And then Komodo also has the trusted vendors list here. And these are all the known good vendors that Komodo can trust and doesn't have to worry about sandboxing at all. So this is this is very important to Komodo and making it work. And that is basically the user interface of Komodo. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, quick check the memory usage of Komodo. And I'll use Task Manager to do that. It just gives us a rough, rough estimate. We're not looking for something super, super accurate, just a rough estimate. And it looks like it's using around, we'll say, 7 to 8 megs. Somewhere around there. So that's very, very light and very good. Oh, sorry, forgot a process. So 8 to 9 megs. That's very, very good for a internet security suite that also has a firewall built in. So uh, congrats to Komodo and getting that memory usage really, really very efficient. So. That does it for the user interface portion of the review. Next up, we will do the active malware links and see how well Komodo can fare between 10 malicious, I should say, against 10 malicious URLs. So, I'll be right back, guys.